Hey guys, Ash here from GusForward.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update a Sony Xperia Z to Android 4.2. This is the official version, the .423 firmware update. It's being rolled out uh, in stages to different countries. So if your region hasn't received it yet, this is a, you have to flash it manually. This will not be voiding your warranty. There will be no issues with your warranty. All right. So guys, the first thing you need to do is hit link one from the download section in the description. That will take you to flash tool, this exe file. So guys, in the in about phone, you can see your model number. I've got a C6602. Uh, you also have the C6603, that's the LTE variant. So if you have a 6602, click on link two and that will take you to the Jelly Bean 4.2 update for 6602. And if you have a 6603, click on link three. The method is the same. You just need to download different files. So since I have a 6602, I've downloaded this file from link two. So download these two files and save them onto your PC. So guys, right now, I've click on flash tool and run through setup. All right, finish. And I've go to your C drive and you will see something called flash tool. Open it up. So guys, now click on drivers and select flash tool drivers. Click next. Over here, just scroll down. You will have uh, flash mode drivers and Xperia Z. Xperia Z and SO2E. Okay, let me just adjust the focus. All right, so you select Xperia Z and SO-02E and the flash mode drivers. Select these two, hit install. Install uh, this driver software anywhere when prompted. Again. And again. All right, hit finish now. Finish. Now go back to Flash Tool Drivers. Open up Flash Tool 64. If you're on the 64 bit version of Windows, if not, just Flash Tool. How do you know which, which variant you're on? Go to My Computer, right click, Properties. That'll tell you whether you're on a 64-bit operating system or x86. If it's x86 or if it says 32-bit, I don't remember exactly. If it says either of those, just select and run Flash Tool. If you're on the 64-bit version of Windows, click Flash Tool 64. So guys, right now what you do is turn off your Xperia Z. Power off. And once you're off, hold the down volume button. Open the flap up while holding the down volume button connected with a micro USB cable. All right, now we can let, let the down volume button go. Leave the Xperia Z as it is. Now click on this, select flash mode, and navigate to wherever it is that you've downloaded and saved uh, the FTF file a link to, from link two or link three, depending on your version, your variant of the Xperia Z. So select that folder. And guys, if you're coming, if you're not coming from a custom ROM, if you're from a stock from the stock firmware, whether rooted or unrooted, as long as you're from the stock firmware, you can just uncheck data and cache. You don't need to wipe them. Your apps and data will retain. And now hit flash. So it's gonna take a few minutes for the firmware to get flashed. So I'll be back with you guys once the firmware is flashed. All right, guys, we are done. You see that it says flashing finished and ending flash session, flashing finished. So you can just unplug your Xperia Z now, close the port, close the flap and turn it on. So again, keep in mind guys, this is the first time this uh, a variant of the firmware is booting so it might be a little longer than your regular boot times 
So don't panic if it doesn't boot up for a minute or so. So just give it the, give it some time. All right, guys. There you go. We are up. So just okay. Going through the settings about phone, and there you see it. Android 4.2.2. Jelly Bean. So we are now updated to the latest latest version of Android on the Xperia Z. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on how to manually update your Xperia Z to the latest version of Android that's Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. So if you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries, feel free to hit us up at cursforward.com slash forums. The link's in the description. So hope you guys found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I will be coming out with more videos for the Xperia Z and other, other Android devices as well. So, once again, that's it for now. If you guys have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. The direct links to all my social networks can be found right below the like button in the description. So, once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, it's Ash here from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.